in the name of the father and the son and the holy spirit amen my dear friends here i welcome you today to reflect on the theme of mother of adoration and reparation august 21st 1987 rubio the liturgical memorial of saint pius 10 during the recital of the holy rosary message given orally message of our lady given to reverend father stefano gobi beloved sons i am happy that you came up here like little children who allow themselves to be carried in my motherly arms because become ever more little docile pure simple adorned and faithful how great is the joy that my motherly heart feels when i carry you all as dear precious and perf- perfumed homage to offer to my son jesus truly present in the sacrament of the eucharist i am the mother of adoration and reparation beside every tabernacle on the earth there is always my motherly presence it forms a new and loving tabernacle for the solitary presence of my son jesus it builds up a garden of love for his perennial dwelling among you it forms a heavenly harmony which surrounds him with all the delight of paradise in the adoring choir of angels in the blessed prayer of the saints in the su- suffering longing of so many souls who are being purified in the purgatory in my immaculate heart they all form a concentro of perennial adoration of unceasing prayer and of performed love for jesus truly present in every tabernacle on the earth today my motherly heart is saddened and deeply wounded because i see that around the divine presence of jesus in the eucharist there is so much emptiness so much abandonment so much neglect so much silence pilgrim and suffering church whose mother i am church you who are the family of all my children ark of new covenant people of god you must understand that the center of your life the source of your grace the source of your light the principles of your apostolic action are to be found only here in the tabernacle where jesus is truly kept and jesus is present to teach you to grow to help you walk to strengthen you in your witness to give you courage in evangelization to be the support for all your sufferings pilgrim and suffering church of these times you who are called to live through the agony of gethsemane and the bloody hour of your calvary today i want to bring you here with me prostrate before every tabernacle in an act of perennial adoration and reparation so that you too may repeat the gesture which your heavenly mother is always performing i am the mother of adoration and reparation in the eucharist jesus is truly present with this bre- with his body with his blood with his soul and with his divinity in the eucharist jesus christ is truly present the son of god the god whom i saw in him at every moment of his earthly life 
even if he was hid, hidden beneath the veil of a fragile and weak nature which developed according to the rhythm of time and of his human growth with a continual act of faith in my son jesus i always saw my god and i would adore him with profound love i adored him when he was still enclosed in my virginal womb like a little seed and i love him i nourished him i gave him growth giving him my very own blood and very own flesh i adore him after his birth contemplating him in the manger of a poor and under uh, adored caves i adore my god in the child jesus in the growing adolescent in the young man leaning over his daily work in the messiah who fulfilled his public mission i adore him when he was rejected and put aside when he was betrayed abandoned by his own people and denied i adore him when he was condemned and despised when he was scourged and crowned with thorns when he was led to the scaffold and crucified i adore him beneath the cross in an act of suffering which no words can tell and while he was taken to the sepulcher and placed in his tomb i adore him after his resurrection when he appeared first of all to me in the splendor of his glorious body and in the light of his divinity beloved sons through the miracle of love which you will be able to understand only in paradise jesus has made you the gift of remaining always in your midst in the eucharist in the tabernacle beneath the veil of the consecrated bread the very same jesus is kept whom i the first to do so so after the miracle of his resurrection the very same jesus who in the blaze of his divinity appeared to the 11 apostles to many disciples to the weeping Mag- magdalene to the holy woman who had followed him right to the splendor in the tabernacle hidden beneath the eucharistic veil the very same risen jesus is present who appeared also to more than 500 disciples and struck down the persecutor saul on the road of damascus it is the very same jesus who he, who sits at the right hand of the father in heaven the blaze of his glorious body and his divinity even if for love of you he veils himself beneath the white appearance of the consecrated bread beloved sons today you must believe all the more in his presence in the eucharist you must spread courageously and powerfully the priestly invitation to everyone to come back to a strong and witnessed faith in the real presence of jesus christ in the eucharist you must direct the whole church to come back to being before the tabernacle with your heavenly mother in an act of perennial reparation continuous adoration unceasing prayer your priestly prayer must become entirely a eucharistic prayer i am asking that you come back again to making hours of adoration everywhere before jesus exposed in the most holy sacrament i desire that the homage of love for the eucharist 
should grow and should become manifest also through the visible signs so meaningful of your piety surround jesus in the eucharist with flowers and lights surround with him surround him with the do- delicate attentions approach him with profound gestures of genuflection and adoration if only you knew how jesus in the eucharist loves you how a little gesture of your love fills him with joy and consolation jesus pardons so many scarlet jets and forgets an infirmity of acts of inagre- ingratitude in return for a drop of pure priestly love which is placed in the chalice of his eucharistic heart priest and faithful of my movement to go frequently before the tabernacle live before the tabernacle pray before the tabernacle let your yours be a perennial prayer of adoration in intercession giving thanks and reparation let your let yours be a prayer which is united to the heavenly song of the angels and saints